Summer is finally here, and when I think of summer, I think of the ice cream truck. But there are other food trucks that I often see in summer in Erie, Pennsylvania. These trucks are called food trucks. They're like mobile restaurants, and they have a kitchen inside. These trucks are able to park in shopping plazas, festivals, fairs, and even neighborhoods to serve people food. Trucks cook delicious food inside, and some include pizza, tacos, waffles, hot dogs, chicken, and ice cream. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a food truck. All you need are shapes, lines, and your imagination. All right, let's get to drawing our truck. What you're going to need is paper, um, a pencil, and a type of coloring supply. So you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers. If you want to paint it, you can do that as well. We are going to start out at the bottom of our paper with two round wheels. Now, if you want to find a template to do your wheels to make them perfectly circle, you can do that. I'm going to freehand mine, taking my time. If I make it too small, or too big, I can put hubcaps on, you know, to make it work. Um, then I'm going to do another wheel on this side, but I have to leave room for the cab of the truck. That is where the truck driver sits and the engine is in the, in the truck. So I'll leave a little bit of room, make another circle, and put a hubcap in there if I would like. Now I'm going to connect these two with the base of the truck and I'm going to put a little bit out here for the bumper a little there for the bumper I can go ahead and close that up like so all right now we're going to get a rectangle in here this is going to start at the back of our truck go up near the top come around and come back down a little more than halfway I need to leave room here for the door and the engine and the window. And I need to leave room up top for whatever my truck's gonna sell. So I think I'll go up to about there. So I'll leave plenty of room up here. <clears throat> and then I'll start here. So here's the middle. Just go a little over towards the engine. Bring your vertical line up and then we'll close that line. Now I can go ahead and do the cab. The cab's going to be a little shorter. And now I'm going to come down on a diagonal line for the windshield. Out a little bit for the engine and bring it down. There's all sorts of different types of trucks. So if yours doesn't look like that, that's okay. Some trucks actually are completely flat on the front and that works as well. Now I can go ahead and get my door, two vertical lines down, one going across. I'll put a window here and a little doorknob. And then I can get my windshield in. I can add some details to the front. Put my radiator if I want. A headlight. Now I can come back to the back of my truck. This is where the food is going to be served. We're going to need to put a big window. An awning would be great. Maybe a menu. I'm going to start out with the awning. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to do two diagonal lines. One, two, and then I can draw a straight line across or a zigzag line or a scalloped. I'll do a scalloped. And then I can go ahead and add those lines. like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my window. It's going to be a long rectangular one. If you want to do two windows, you can do two windows like that or one big one. Maybe I'll break mine up a little bit. 
or you could have one big one and have a menu on the side. And I'll put a little ledge to serve the food. And then maybe I'll do my menu here. can go ahead and jazz up your drawing with anything else. Um, think about what you're going to do at the top. Are you going to sell tacos, pizza, chicken, ice cream? Here's some ideas that you can put at the top of your truck. You could do ice cream, pizza, burger truck, hot dog truck, taco truck, chicken truck, waffles, whatever you want to sell. Maybe I'll do ice cream. So I maybe I'll put my ice cream cone on the side and then I'll put my to hold it maybe I want to have a little bit of a megaphone at the top to announce to everybody that I'm coming through the neighborhood. Add some highlights for the window and then the menu. Maybe I'll think about um, the types of ice cream I'm gonna have. Uh, I could write chocolate, panda paws, Vanilla, uh, maybe oh, strawberry might not fit. That's a pretty long word. Um, how about I just write berry? And then maybe I write cones. Now you can go ahead and color it with whatever supplies you have, or if you want to add some more details or decoration to your truck, you can do that. All right, now that I got my truck colored, I can go ahead and add a street if I want. I can do a background for my landscape. I did want to point out I did not have a marker, a brown marker for my cone, so I was able to find a color pencil to use. So you don't need to use just one supply. You can use different supplies to color your truck as well. Hope you had fun creating your food truck and look around this summer for food trucks and see if you see any at coming through your neighborhood or at a shopping center and give it a try.